I bought this graphics card for $130 from AliExpress. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! The card we're going to be reviewing today is the AMD RX 5700, specifically this MSI Mech variant. The RX 5700 released in July of 2019 and was part of AMD's Navi generation of graphics cards. The card possesses 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM with a base clock speed of 1465MHz and a boost clock of 1725MHz. Commonly purchased for around $300 brand new at the time. I would recommend pairing any of these CPUs on screen with this GPU and I highly recommend using at minimum a 450 watt power supply for sufficient power optimization. Any lower and you're gonna run into some issues. I received the card about two weeks after I purchased it, and its packaging actually wasn't that bad compared to other products I've received in the past. This ain't no freaking western digital blue, this shit's just a blue. It came in a standard GPU box with the card itself being encased in an anti-static component bag. Nice. The box itself came shipped in a water resistant plastic bag, which could have been better. But what really matters is the fact that this thing actually showed up and functions. Idiot, hey you. Hey you, dumbass. Did, did the code even work? Did, like, turn on? Sort of? One of the first things you notice after unboxing this code is its warranty sticker, which specifically states this was used as a mining code. Brother, this guy stinks! Which is not a bad thing, but definitely something to keep in mind when buying a card like this one. Mining mainly impacts the condition and performance of your graphics card's cooling, which can result in, well, not good stuff. For more information on the topic, go check out this video I found from this, like, really small creator. I don't know if you've heard of the guy. His name is, like, Linus Tech Tips or something. Filthy, filthy miner. You, you, you can, like, go check that out if you want. Link in the description, uh, assuming I don't forget it like I always do. However, this card came to me refurbished, which means the heatsink, fans, thermal compound, and pads should have all been replaced. However, I didn't give the card any maintenance before testing to get the true AliExpress experience. Before I continue the benchmarks, I'd like to announce that the brand new Xenotech Discord server is now up and running and open to the public if you want to go check that out. To celebrate this, I will be letting you guys choose my new mouse pad, considering my current mouse pad is, well, musty. This thing's looking clean, man. Oh yeah, it's RGB. Let me turn it on. Oh yeah, I forgot it's not plugged in because the um, the port broke. Um, it, 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 it's broken. It, it doesn't even glow up and look cool. Take my feelings into consideration. Uh, please be nice to me. Join the Discord for more info on my mousepad event and future giveaways I'm planning on holding. The PC I use to test this card includes the following components. Enjoy the benchmarks, my friends. Alright my friends, now, I'm going to defeat, on my first attempt, the one reason why, what was it, like 25% of people refund this game, and prove that he is a pushover. And by he, I mean that giant large metal man on a horse. Wow, trees in this game really do look like shit. Even at high settings, I personally play at low settings because I, um, I don't know, I'm kind of a frame rate nerd. And I totally don't run a GTX 1070 Ti. This isn't bad though. Around 50 frames at high settings. Might want to go down to medium, but for now, this is working quite well. You can do better than that, you little rap scallion, you damn bastard. Get your metal ass over here. This club has your name on it, therefore, you must die. Apart from that, the benchmark is doing quite well. Graphics code is, um, not, graphics code isn't even being fully utilized, and we have a pretty stable 50 frames per second. I would recommend, uh, medium settings, though, because you'd probably get a little more bang for your buck that way. Also, this game is, um, frame rate locked. It, which means pretty much you're gonna get 60 frames per second no matter how strong your hardware is um, That was I did not intend to do that So pretty much um, Unless you have a mod or other application that uncaps that frame rate for you um, You're always gonna be stuck with 60 frames, which I don't mind that 
I believe anything higher than 60 is quite pointless, to be honest. As long as you have a stable 60, you're doing good. And look at me, I'm playing this game at, like, what, 50 frames? 50 to 40 frames per second? And I'm doing just fine. I'm absolutely, um, clapping this man. It's quite sad that this guy physically cannot touch the ass. Despite him always being so close to it. You wanna know why? Because I'm gonna tell you some lore. This man is chained to his mount. You know why? Um, I don't know, order or something, because he wants to forever serve the Golden Order. Um, which he's not doing a very good job at doing that right now, for a literal naked man in a thong is beating the shit out of him with a blunt wooden object. You know, it is doing a good job. Uh, also, by the way, that was my, um, that was my fish playing. That, that, that wasn't me. I would like to take the time to thank all of my subscribers and viewers of my content recently. We just made it up to 100 subscribers, which <laughs> that really seems like a lot, to be honest. It's crazy to think that there's 100 people around the world that actually tune in and watch my videos every day. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing and watching all of my goofy little videos and somewhat useful tech information. And it always surprises me on how fast you guys help grow the channel. Thanks a lot for your encouraging comments, your views, subs, and likes. And as always... Don't look at my activate windows!